Cyclist.io. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of You Deserve Fresh Lettuce. I am your co-host, Rachel. And I'm Della. And today we're going to be talking about gay affairs, homosexual yeah. affairs, uh, being cheated on, where maybe he had an affair with another man. Um, we're going there. Listen, we decided, let's stop holding back. We get a lot of DMs, people telling us their stories, and we're like, this is it. We got to yeah, like, I mean, this is, this is what we're going through, living through. This is a reality. So let's yeah, talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Okay. So do you want to start? Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I kind of brought this up to Rachel's attention only because I have a family member that walked in on her husband cheating on her with oh. a man. Now at the time she was living in San Francisco, which if you know, respectfully, it, I'm not saying that anyone that and everyone that lives in San Francisco, but it has a reputation. It, it really does. You know, the rainbow flag is really flown with a lot of pride <laughs> out there, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, she, you know, and that's the thing. Like if you do like men and you're with a man, I mean, you're like, okay, let me assess this. I am not okay with sharing my husband with a man or, or with anyone or with anybody, but yeah. you know, this is what happens. So I don't know what's worse. Like, Part of me is like, what's worse to walk in on your husband with a woman or walk in with walk in on him with a man? Uh, like, please, That's please, tough. please drop the comments because we want to know. Um, we want to know. Maybe we can talk about this on a live here yeah. soon. I know for me, that would be tough. So I actually personally know a few people this has happened to. Okay. Uh -huh. And one of them, um, she was kind of a, a, it was a high profile marriage. Um, okay. So he was known in the media and basically she thought she was living the dream and there was kids involved in the whole thing. And she walked out, she walked in on him with another man. And I guess he didn't see her walk in on him. And apparently the man was like a manny. So it was like a male nanny situation that she had and the husband and him. Okay. So up. I always have the questions because I'm always <laughs> very inquisitive. Yes. Did he hire him? So I believe that he, it was his idea for to her to choose a guy. I don't know that he interviewed the guy or anything like that. I don't know, know nothing about it. It's a very sensitive thing for her. So it wasn't something that I was like, tell me all everything. But you, if I gave you the name, you'd be able to Google it today. And it's, it's out there because it was all over the media. Um, but this was a friend of mine that I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna put her business out there. Of course. But it was a difficult thing for her. And that was the main thing was she basically ended up, you know, divorcing him and it was all over like TMZ and stuff like that. But it was tough and it was something that was tough for her for a very, very long time. So I know that it's painful. I can imagine. You know, for me, I don't know how you compete with something like that. If it's another woman, you go, well, what does she have that I don't have? And maybe I could, you know, get my boobs done or, you know, women as women, we think all kinds of stuff. Of course. But if it's just like, he's going with another man, it is what it is. I don't know. I so, don't know. I don't know what happens, but I do, I see this kind of new trend, right? And I could be wrong, but I, I've noticed there's like a little bit of a trend and the trend is a lot of the men that will marry a woman, have kids, live a, just a very basic life. Then they turn, I think it's like the, the midlife crisis for a man. I want to say he could be like fifties, mid fifties. And I don't know what happens, but something shifts in a man. So a lot of the guys, like let's just say that, that live in Palm Springs, because a lot of the retirees oh. that are in Palm Springs like have children and have an ex-wife and, and have a whole life that they used to have. And now, you know, they've kind of figured that this is the life they want to live. You know, the last part of their life, they want to be with a man. And so that's very common. I don't know if you've noticed or if you Oh, I've noticed if, it out if, there. Yeah, in Palm Springs. So San Francisco is kind of like the new, like newcomers, like, hey, you know what? I've always known this is how I am and that's okay. And it doesn't have to be anywhere specific, but yeah. these are towns that I resonate with because yeah. I've been to and yeah. I see it and I know it. And again, I'm not bashing anybody. No. You like, if you're a woman and you love women, more power to you and vice versa, yeah. man to a man. However, to walk in on your husband because you think that you have a monogamous marriage. That's number like, one. And then you think that he's into women, you, and you. Women, yeah. And then all of a sudden he shifts and flips it on you. 
that's what we're really like trying he to shifts and tackle. Flips. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. And literally. Then, and I just feel like at that point, I, I don't know if I'd be offended. I would just, I would on the contrary <laughs> be like, how come you weren't open with me? Like, I'd want to know, like you should have yes. been open with me. And I would have accepted you and I would have thought, you know what? It's unfortunate that this world, and I'm not for or against it again, but if that's how you felt, then, you know, we should have been able to say, hey, you know what? Then it's not going to work. I'm a total woman and you like men, but to walk in on him with a man. Yeah, no, I mean, that's yeah. where the love kicks in. I think that I agree with you on that. I think that's where obviously it's gonna be shock and awe right, right. and obviously hurt because you had this illusion of what your marriage what you thought your marriage was and then now that's shattered right so there, there's a lot of pain and things that come with that but the at the core of it though like you're a zebra he just likes giraffes or whatever like at the end of the day there's no way you can pretend to be that, that you're not you know what i mean and so that's where i think the compassion comes in right and understanding that that's not even a competition it's just kind of over and maybe it's just listening and understanding, you know, empathizing that right. how long has he been living with this? And now he's having to kind of fake it, fake his life. And right? rather than being super duper upset. Okay. So if, if I walked in on him with a woman, I'd be like, what, you know, You'd be like, what, what I mean, what's going on? Right. I mean, it's still what is going on. Yeah. I mean, let's not get this twisted. However, part of me would be a little confused and I would think, yeah, exactly. Like how long have you been dealing with this? And trying to live a lie and trying to like put it together or pull it together and and just kind of shift through life and pretend that i am you know the love of your life and all of a sudden you're looking at the man or like the i don't know the gardener like i don't know all those you know, times that he's like guy, i'm you know? gonna go golfing with john now you're, you're like, like all right oh, well wait a minute <laughs> okay, so you literally did go hole in one <laughs> not the hole in one but look at this so I understand, allegedly, I like, we're like allegedly. all about the allegedly, that in Atlanta, and if you're listening to this and you're in Atlanta, like chime in, we want to know. I mean, I watch the Atlanta Housewives. I find it very entertaining. But apparently it's a, there's a big DL community there and that's the down low, meaning men, especially successful high level men that are married to beautiful, gorgeous women, um, having their homes and their families and everything, but they live this double life where even in the community, people know like he's on the so DL. So it's not just, so it's a down low double life. So DL, DL? Yeah, it's a double like DL. Yeah, wow. double DL. Um, and double apparently DL. it's a thing, it's a known thing. I think even Oprah, um, who is in our prayers today, <laughs> Oprah energy yeah, uh, you know apparently Oprah even did a whole show on this where a bunch of married men went on the show and like came out or something like that or talked about this and so that means in order for that to happen that the wives are aware and my understanding that I'm learning you know listen I'm in my 40s right. and I'm learning all kinds of stuff that I was learning even it was mentioned even on the um, Atlanta Housewives show um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta at some point where they said, oh, she's his wife, but she's really his beard. And so they called it the beard. Oh, beard. So basically if you're the woman. Explain, who, Lucy. Yeah, explain. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so apparently if you're the woman okay. who marries a man that is living on the DL, okay. so you know he switches both ways. So you're coming in to this marriage relationship with this understanding? Some people, some people do, and okay. some people find out along the way, right? Okay. But we're talking about people that live really grand lives and there's a whole lifestyle thing involved here, okay? okay? And there's children and stuff like that. And so these men are living the D on the DL, okay? As gay men, okay, living as straight, so acting straight, but they're gay, okay? But acting straight, playing house, and the whole thing, okay, in society. And basically, um, the wife may know that this is taking place. And so, if she's aware, or even if she isn't aware, she's referred to as the beard. So, making him look more manly, you know, a beard makes Not you look the manly. Martini. No, you're the beard. <laughs> 
no pinkies up here. Like this is the beard. And so the wife becomes the beard because it's the cover up. It's what makes him look more manly masculine. and masculine to the, to, to his industry. Because right. some of these men, especially again, Laguna, like we're in, we're in the thick of it here too, with we men are. who are successful, who are living this life, but because of their stature, because of their reputation in their industry, mm -hmm. whatever it is, they got to go get the pretty wife. The trophy wife, they got to have a pretty life, have the kids because men want kids, even yeah. if, they ha if they have these, you know, feelings. Yeah. And then on the down low, they're doing whatever mm. with guys. It's kind of, it's kind of confusing to me only like, only because if I came into a relationship with the understanding that I'm going to be his beard, yeah. then I will be every flavor of beard, right? If, if that's what I'm not, I wouldn't do it. But I'm saying if I did. <laughs> okay, like, explain flavors of beer. I don't know, because they have like, you know, like apple this, and they have like orchard, and they what? have like corona, <laughs> and then they have modelo, like, the they hell? have like the different types of so beer. What like, it, so like, what does that like, look like, like in like, the in the household? Like, I, honey, I will be all kinds of beer for you. Like, this I'm going to be the best of the best. How, however, <laughs> I would not agree with it. I'm just saying, like, if you do agree with that and you say, okay, well, I'm just here to just pose and take a picture, look pretty, I'm okay with that. If I was okay with that, I wouldn't be, right? But what does that look like? Does someone just tell you, hey, by the way, I'm gay, but I want to marry you and I want to have kids with you and I'm going to give you this grandiose life. Uh, but you have to pretend to be all kinds of flavors of beer. No, and I... the, at that point, you're like, honey, I will do that. However, I can't imagine myself doing yeah, that. No. Absolutely not. No. But I'm just saying, do they come out? Because you're saying that some women know. Some women know. And I think that some of these so scenarios. That's why I'm asking, yeah. like, do they know? Like, I they're think... gonna be like, they're gonna be modelo today. <laughs> They're gonna be like those those X's tomorrow, those the equis. most in interesting men in, the, in world. the world. So I think that in some cases, and again, I have not personally been in the situation, but I've known people that have been in the situation. I don't know that they knew though up front, but from my, my understanding about the ones publicly that were made aware, whether it was before the marriage or after, I think it's always approached as I love you. I love you. Not yeah. I love you. I'm attracted to you. I want to have kids with you. I want to build a life with you. You. I want you to be my wife. Like you're the one. Like they get sold all the things. Okay. So they buy into. The, they they drink the Kool Aid. But honey, I you know I am attracted to men, and it and, and it's just a once in a while thing. I think it's I think it's downplayed. So I think it's like she's going to be aware and it's downplayed and it's like, uh, and then she has to just decide, right? What she wants to do. Now, if we go all the way over, like, let's take it all the way over to the whole Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner I was going to bring thing, that up. Yes. To the yes. all the way over. I mean, there's rumors that, you know, that she, she knew. knew, but it was like this thing where he was taking medication in the eighties and then supposedly to do that. He stopped. Yeah. Supposedly he stopped because he started dating her and it was like, no, I want to be focused on this and that. But then it's like, you know, somebody recently, Howard Stern just interviewed Khloe Kardashian and said, okay, but there's pictures of him where he has boobs in the eighties. So like when you guys went on vacation, like were the boobs a thing? Yeah. And she said, you know, that's a great question, but I can tell you, I saw him shirtless. I saw him around the house and I never thought he has women's boobs or, you know, men was they age, they can grow boobs or whatever. Um, you know, some people call them bitch tits or whatever, but Do they really yeah, them? yeah. Okay. In the bodybuilding world. Okay. But, um, you know, apparently she's like, no, it wasn't even like that. So if you're going to, if you're talking about her See, situation, okay, so I'm going to go back to that. So let's just say if it's true, cause you can alter and modify anything from anyone at any point. I mean, yep. you can even modify this video, yeah. but we're not going to. However, here's my thing. They had two children after the so-called boobs, right? Yep. So when you're on medication, okay, like, okay, he's going to transition into a woman if that's the truth. I don't know facts or like what, I don't really know the details, but how is it that he was able to then have his little swimmers swim far enough to still conceive two other little girls if it was something that was disclosed? 
So that's the question that I have. If it's true that he was taking medication back in the eighties and he had disclosed this because how was he able that then to have two additional children? So I think that you that's know? just as simple as he stopped taking those hormones and then he's a man. So he, his natural hormones kick in, you know what right. I mean? Because he wasn't married to her in the eighties. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's like they were married, you know, after that. Okay. And so I imagine that the body just reset, you know, okay. because anybody that's going into some transition, they got to continuously take those right. because their natural physiology wants to then override Push that. Yeah. yeah. So I think that that's where that happens. And I think if you look at even Kendall, um, her body and her, some of her features, and you look at Kylie before her surgeries and some of that, like you could see Bruce, like right, in absolutely. the build, especially now that he's Caitlin, yeah. like you can see it, but I think it's so tough because you know, Chris, apparently she was very devastated. She appeared, you know, uh -huh. by this. So how does that even work? Like as a woman, is it harder in that, you know, you just can't win on that situation or is it easier because you say, you know, I can't compete. That's not something I can compete with. It's harder if it's other women to compete with, you know? Right. I think it's tough no matter what, if you're in love, if you love the person that you fell in love with as a man, if, if, if you married a man, you fell in love with that man. Granted, that's still the same person, maybe internally, but I don't know, physically they're not. And so whatever you feel outside physically is what you kind of project outside yeah. also. So if I start feeling like very manly and want to like stop doing my hair and like <laughs> cut it, like you project what you yes. are, uh, your exterior is saying you project that. So I don't know what that looks like for her. I just know that that has to be tough to marry a man and then have him transition and then him say, you knew I always wanted to be a woman. Like, no, I didn't actually know that, uh, to be. Yeah. Very and we tell that. each other, uh, we tell ourselves a lot of stories to, to make sense of things. I think as women who are in love and stuff like that. And we kind of go, yeah, he said this, but he, he probably that. meant that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that with children, it would be even harder because if you find out along the way that your husband is now cross-dressing that, you know, he's living on the down low, you right. find out from friends in the community, right. like, but you have kids, you're going to probably naturally go into protection mode right. and to protect those kids. And, right. and how much of that mode determines that you just stay mm -hmm. and keep up the pre the pretenses, you know, right. because I can only imagine if that was me married to a man who then reveals that he prefers men or, or likes men or whatever. I might have done something like protect my kids, keep playing along because if you stop playing house, does that free him up to then let his freak flag fly? And now the kids are going to see him out there with, you know, Daisy Dukes and booty shorts and crop tops. And like, I would imagine in my mind, I would be trying to do damage control on some level mm. and go, is it better to just stay and play house while they're growing up and be like, Oh, like that's just what's happening. Or do you go F it? I'm taking the kids, I'm moving out. And then you know, he's just going to go, Woo, and That's he's going to go full doing. force. And then now your kids have to see that. I mean, uh, I don't know for me, I think, um, honesty is the best policy. So at that point in life, dad likes booty shorts <laughs> and do Daisy Dukes. I'm sorry. You met him this way. <laughs> oh my God. Dad likes booty shorts. <laughs> oh my God. I'm you know what I mean? You like, know me. I, I do. So forward. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, honey. Like, and, and it's always been this way for me because obviously my divorce has been very whatever. And I'm always like, I'm sorry. You, these are the cards you were dealt. Like, not every circumstance and situation in this lifetime are you going to be able to shelter your kids. Yep. So you got to just be straight. Like, dad likes booty shorts. And guess what? He's going to marry a man. <laughs> And guess what? He's a woman that's going to marry a woman because he's gay, but she's transitioned and oh. it is what it is, you know, because that's a whole another, like, that's another episode. Yes. And I am not making fun of it because I don't know. I, on the contrary, kind of feel bad. And I'm going to tell you why, because I know I'm a female. I was born a female. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm a woman. I love being a woman. However, I can't imagine being born a woman feeling like I needed to be a, a man. man. Oh. I don't know what that feels like internally, psychologically. So I'm not here to make fun of that. No, However, yeah. I'm here to be really forward and straight with my kids to say, Hey, you know what, babe, this is what it is. 
And, yeah. and you know what? You're not always going to get people's internal feelings. You just got to understand that you got to accept people for who they are. And if today they're a woman, great. And if tomorrow they're going to be a man, then great. You know what? It doesn't affect me in the way that I live my day-to-day -day life, the way I use the restroom. I just feel bad for them. Yeah. And I'm straight. Like, yeah. I'm just straight with my, my kids about everything. Like, um, yeah. you know, that's why they know about most things that, you know, I know a lot of maybe, uh, I don't know, moms or dads are like holding the ears like you can't hear that no but you know what you can't you have to prepare them for the world we get so caught up as parents right. in the protecting our children right. that we forget to prepare our children exactly and so like we got to do a balance there's right. some protecting because obviously if they're six years old they probably shouldn't know who cardi b is right which you know what you had your child the uh i don't know the tablet yeah and guess what if they're gonna you see don't them just introduce your child to cardi b if you don't want yeah. her if you don't want them to know who she is they're gonna find out who she eventually is eventually they're gonna eventually. find out yeah who so she that's is why for me i feel like if it can come out of my words yes then i am going to just let control know, the narrative control the narrative exactly yes. like hey you know a man likes a man and that's that's what they chose a woman likes a woman that's what they chose yeah this man is now a woman and and i don't make it so taboo guess what i'm not saying that i'm going to normalize i'm going to normalize it for them yeah but at least it's not going to be something that their little friend tells them and now yeah. they're maybe going to be uh you know they're going to be like gay bashing or be prejudiced no i yeah. just want it to be like hey we're all human beings we're all here to live we all bleed we all live we all die and if that's what the person chooses, then that's then what they so choose. Be it. However, yeah. you know, th this is the reality. But veering back, circling back to what we're talking about, I don't know what that looks like if I walked into, you know, a situation where, you know, someone's being like, if my husband's being with a woman or whatever, okay, well, that I married a man and he's gonna be with a woman. However, yeah. I walk in on a man that's a toughie yeah you got sausage fest going on like you there's know, just and no how do you even compete yeah. with that? i'm not trying to yeah I mean, I'm exactly not trying i'm to not trying that. to either i just would love if you have been in that situation if you dm us and you let us know like we are genuinely curious yeah. we might even like do a live one day um about this topic because there are people out there there's there are beautiful women living what seems like beautiful lives right who are aware that their husbands are living or, a double yeah, life with another bisexual. man yeah and some people get married and they know that the man's bisexual yeah. so i don't know like, yeah if they are going to dinner and they're having a beer and all of a sudden you're like oh, are they really having a beer you're the beer <laughs> they're having the beer so what's really happening, happening underneath the table who's playing for yeah, the season like, there's they? a whole netflix series called grace and something um you're gonna have to look it up but it's like something in grace and i can't think of the name gracie and something huh. and it's um jane fonda it's two older women lovely women and it's in it's ba it's a whole series oh about how gosh. their husbands yes. were best friends yes. and lawyers and then they were actually lovers the whole time and so yes. if you find yourself in this situation look up that series because it's I fantastic did. i don't remember the name of it but yes something i've something gracie yes. or and something they're older 60 yeah. year old women yes and like, they end up in the beach house yes so you guys got to check out that series on netflix and we're not sponsored by Netflix yet yeah. but anyways it's a okay, great way to like put a cap on this topic don't forget to chime in at the end of this episode we're gonna have a mantra that you can read in the show notes if you're driving and you're listening on the podcast platforms or you can screenshot it on YouTube at the end of this video but thank you so much for tuning in for and tuning in. oh and our tequila sponsor Tabi tequila thank you so much for this delicious tequila and cheers, cheers.